Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a quick, probably not so quick, haul from a couple of different places. This is like a collective haul, but mostly an iHerb haul. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it really quickly before I get started. My lipstick, I know it's summertime, but I got this from my friend the other day. She had it from like the MAC, I'll show you, this collection from MAC, like the lip bag from last year. Um, and I just had to wear it. Is this colour not to die for? Um, it's called Dark Deed and it's an amplified. I don't know if you can like buy it on the regular basis and then I've got the lip liner in Vino or Wino, however you pronounce it, um, around the outside. So yes, I know it's not really appropriate, it doesn't really match my fluoro orange, but it was really pretty. So first place I'm going to haul is a place called T2. I only have one product so I'm just going to haul them there first. Um, it's just a tea store and you buy tea and Oh, I'm so scared about getting this look at my tea. You buy tea and tea related accessories there, you know, like teacups, teapots, tea infusers, all that sort of jazz. And it, one just opened up in Albany Mall, which is one of my like regular malls, I guess you can say. Um, and I went in there and I met a lovely subscriber. Her name's Hannah. Hi, Hannah. If you're watching, she was lovely. Um, I can't wait to go in there and talk to her again. But she um, gave me this tea to try and I didn't buy it that day, but I went in another day and bought it and she wasn't there, which is really sad. But it just looks like this. This is so expensive. It was $18.70 for this. This is in the flavour Strawberries and Cream. Um, and let me just show you how beautiful the tea itself is. Like, it just looks like muesli or something. It's really pretty. So this one has no actual tea in it, which is great because like, you guys know I hate tea. Um, it's got hibiscus pieces, rosehip petals, strawberry pieces, hibiscus, blackberry leaves, yogurt crispies, and flavour. Um, and yeah, you get 30 like cups of tea out of this, which I thought was really good for seventeen fifty. Um, but this one I'm probably going to have iced, because that's how I had it there. Now that that blabbing is done, first bag is from Kmart. What can I say? You guys know I love Kmart. So the first two things that I got, I'll just show you separately. Um, these were each $3. This is like a weekly planner. I'm really getting into planning. I'm going to buy like an Erin Condren planner there. So expensive. I think it's like... 120 New Zealand dollars by the time you get it shipped here, but if you guys have a cheaper option, let me know. I might buy one off of Etsy, I don't really know. But it's just got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then next week, and you can just put this on your desk. Um, it's just good for when I'm at my computer, I can just like put it underneath my, um, use it as like a mouse pad and just right grip on there. So yeah, I just got that $3, and there's like a billion sheets. The other thing that I got is a, uh, a notebook, because I had a notebook for my YouTube but it literally only had like five pages and I got it from Kiki K. It was like a notes book that came with my planner. Well, I don't even know if you'd call it a planner. Like my, you know, whatever. Um, but this just says lots of amazing, fabulous, great ideas in here. And I thought that was very fitting. And it's just like a real chubby book. Um, and yeah, there's my video ideas for December. And yeah, I'm just going to keep this again on my desk. But it's small enough that I can put it in my bag. So that's also another awesome thing about it. So next I kind of went into the clothing section to buy some like gym appropriate year because I'm really trying to like go to the gym. So the first thing that I got were these shorts here. I got these in a size 10 but I should have gotten a 12 because they're a little bit tight but they're just these like geometric workout pants and they've just got a like mint green like you know the tight underlay thing. They're really really nice but they're just a little bit too tight for me. But I really like the pattern. These were only $12. Next I got three of these tops. I got this one in like blue with like a um fluoro chartreuse kind of matches my nails greeny yellow underneath and it's just like yeah a workout style top i got this one in a 12 um yeah i like them and i'm wearing one right now it's like a aqua blue with a orange underlay i thought i'd cover it up so i didn't look like i was trying to be really fit <laughs> this one and then that one over there were 12 dollars, but for some reason they must be like getting rid of this color and oh my god i just realized this is a size 8 how did I get that mixed up? That will not fit me. Look how small that is. Well, that's awkward. I'm going to have to take that back. Um, I'm sure it said size 12. How did I even mess that up? Anyway, it's $8. I'm going to have to take that one back. But it's just purple and pink. Thank God I didn't rip the tag off of that. <laughs> and then I got some Christmas gift tags because I need them. Just a little squirrel, a Santa, a house, and a little Christmas tree. There was like 20, 28 tags in here for $1.50. Kmart is the best, I swear. And then they had like really cheap singlets, like these were three fifty. I don't know what they normally are, I think it varies, but I just got a black, well, I got two black ones, and a dark blue one. Again, thought I could wear these to the gym and elsewhere, and I got them in a 12, just so that they aren't too tight. Also, before I get onto my iHerb stuff, I got two bags of my Jim Beam 
jalapeno sunflower seeds. These are amazing. I've never actually talked about them on my channel. I've been meaning to mention them in my favourites for like months and months and months. But these are amazing. They are sunflower seeds that are coated in like jalapeno flavouring. These are really good and they're 4 90 or 5 90 from United Sweets. So now for my eye herb stuff. Ugh. Basically did a lot of repurchasing and stocking up on food because I really love their food. Personally, I got three different bags of their like fruit chips, I guess you can say. I got these. They're all by the brand Bear Fruit. Um, and this one is a new flavour apparently. And these are sea salt caramel apple chips. Um, so they're just four apples in every bag and it's supposed to taste, you can hear it. Sounds like a jigsaw puzzle or something. But I don't know. It's exciting. There's 100 calories per serving, so that's not a lot. Um, and I got this so that when I have a sweet tooth I can eat these. I don't know, I really like caramel flavour so I hope I'll like those. I don't really like apples, which is weird that I bought them, but I thought maybe I will like them if they're like that. The next two ones I got I just got because I was intrigued by the flavours. These are only like $2 something something American a bag, so they're not that expensive. Um, they're in chili lime, these ones are apple chips also. Probably going to taste like crap, but I was like, I want to try it. Then they also do have coconut chips. Which I think these ones are a little bit higher calorie than the apple ones, but these are in this the the scent the flavour sweet and heat. So you've got chilies and I'm guessing that is pineapple. I don't know. I thought it would be interesting. Next is a repurchase, and I got three bags of the Stacy's pita chips, Parmesan and garlic herb. These are really nice. Sorry. <laughs> I don't really have the urge to finish the whole bag with these, so yeah, I kind of only eat like a handful at a time and then I'm satisfied, so it's just like, it's kind of like our bagel bites, except it's pita bread, um, I could probably find something similar in New Zealand, but to be honest, all these bagel type products in New Zealand are like $5 a bag or something stupid, these were $3 something something. And while I'm thinking about it, I do have a coupon code that saves you $10 off your first order, it is SHZ606, I'll put it right here, or somewhere in the down bar also, it's always in my down bar, but it just saves you $10 off your first order, well 5 or 10 depending on how much you spend, but it's easy to get over the $40 limit so that you save $10. Shipping, I do the top option, the one that's like, starts at $8 and then it scales with how much you put in, that arrives for me within 3, I think the longest I've ever waited was 6 days, which I think was this time, because it was Thanksgiving, so I only waited 6 days, so it's pretty much amazing. Anyway, next I got the Barbara's Cheese Puffs. And jalapeno. I don't know if these are going to taste good. I have no idea. I just love jalapeno flavoured things. As you guys saw by those uh, sunflower seeds. But yeah, these aren't like necessarily healthy or low calorie or anything. But I just wanted to try them. Next I got two bags of these. These are by the brand Novita's Naturals. And they are cacao nibs. And I'll open it up so that I can show you. This one I've already opened because I had some yesterday. But they're kind of just like, they taste like cocoa powder basically. Maybe like a tiny bit sweeter than cocoa powder. They just like, almost look like rabbit poo to be honest. These are like five fifty a bag, but they are basically like a superfood. I don't know how, I don't know what it is that it has in it that's amazing. It says benefits, flavanols, polyphenols and magnesium. I don't know, I've been told that they're amazing for you. Anyway, I really like putting these on my yogurt. It's kind of like a little bit of like a crunch and a little bit of a chocolate flavour. But yeah, it's really, really nice on yogurt. So I got two bags of these just so that I don't have to order them for a while. Final food thing that I got was these. I have heard so many good things about these on like iHerb Obsessed. It's like a group. You guys can look it up. It's where people who are obsessed, obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with iHerb can share their like favourite products and their hauls and stuff or ask questions. So I've heard a lot about this. This is a Nestle Mini Marshmallows Milk Chocolate. So it's like little sachets of... Um, hot chocolate with marshmallows in there as well and there's six servings in here and it was only two bucks which is way cheaper than you'd ever find in New Zealand so I thought I'd try these out it's definitely not the season for hot chocolate but I thought maybe like on Christmas I could have some or if I'm just like feeling ill or it's cold for some magical reason like in the middle of summer it's cold I don't know okay I just wanted to try them and they're always out of stock because these are so popular they're always out of stock so if you're ordering and they're in stock I can't vouch for them yet, but people say they're good, so you should probably get them. They're only two bucks, so what, what have you got to do? What have you, what have you got to lose? Next, I've got a couple of beauty things. The first thing is this brush. This is by, I never know how to pronounce this brand name, Bdellum, Bdellum, I don't know. And it's just an angled brow brush, and it's way too thick for what I wanted. Um, it's the I763. It's a really nice quality brush. The, you know, entire makeup is really nice. It's just not thin enough. I want a really thin brow brush, but that's not it. 
seven dollars so i'm kind of bummed that it wasn't what i wanted i'm also kind of bummed that i bought this from real techniques it's the mini brush brush trio and mini brushes that i have are normally like this sort of this sort of height and they're kind of like usable for their normal task this is what i got they were ten dollars i cannot believe i paid ten dollars for this i am so pissed and it's literally like that I was going to use this as like a touch up powder brush, like it doesn't, it would barely even work for me. It's probably like a highlight brush, it's probably how I have to use it. But I am so bummed that this cost me $10. This would have cost them like 10 cents to make, because they're so small. But what can you do? I can't really return it. Um, they would have had measurements too, so I can't tell them they were being misleading. I just like judged from the photo that they would be kind of, you know, sizable enough that you could use them for powder. But I don't know, let me know if you have a, you know, like a purpose that I could use these for. If you can think of something, let me know. I also got two products from e.l.f. because they have like, not not a full range of e.l.f. but a pretty decent range of e.l.f. and it's like $3 and $1.50. So these were a dollar, no, I think these are three bucks because it's like a little pack, but it's just the e.l.f. liquid liner and then two glitter liners. Um, it's like a gold kind of um, copper one and then like a, I don't know, you can see. It's like a um, holographic sort of one. It's got like different color glitters in it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if this will be good, but I tried to find like loose glitter on there and I don't have any. The reason why I wanted the loose glitter is because I got the Makeup Lock and Seal set. Um, this was only three bucks. I've heard lots about this. My box came mangled. I'm really sad about that. Not really. Um, it's just like a makeup locking product. A little, I guess like a little dish or something to like mix it in and then you've got a brush to pack it on with. Um, so I was excited to use this for like glitter and pigments um, and I might use this in a tutorial I'll let you guys know. I did get Corpu this soap that people recommend for like skin and like bad skin. So I got that for him because he has been struggling with his skin lately. Sorry for selling you out Corpu, my bad. Um, but I just thought I'd get it for him because I've heard lots of good things about it and I'll let you guys know if he likes it. And then the final product that I got is this. I have heard so many good things about this so I had to pick it up. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. World's most powerful facial, deep pore cleansing, 100% natural calcium benoite clay bentoite clay and basically it's like this is like filled to the brim with like loose or like you know dried clay it's not like a paste you can hear it sounds like maracas Ooh. um anyway and what you do is you mix this with water make a paste and put it on your face i did this the other day and i don't know how i feel about it i need to try it again um basically this made my face like so rock solid that i was mildly concerned that I was like turning into a piece of rock um it was so tight and uncomfortable and when I washed off my skin was fluoro red but it does say if you have sensitive skin to only leave it on for five minutes but if you have normal skin try to get 15 to 20. It said slight redness is normal and will disappear in 30 minutes which is true but the fact that it made it that red was really concerning. You can see that it sort of does that um glam glow thing where it pulls the oil out and I think this was only don't quote me between four and eight dollars US, I think it might have been like five or six. And as you can see, this is like a huge tub and it's completely full. So um, I'll let you guys know if I recommend it, but I've heard a lot of good reviews. They do have reviews on the site, so just look them up if you're interested. But yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. So that's everything for today's haul. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I know that it was kind of long, but it was just because. I don't know, I just like talking about things, okay? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up if you did like it. Tell me if you like seeing like different hauls, like grocery hauls and workout clothing hauls and I can do them more often. Um, and also if you guys have any like workouts that you would recommend for somebody to do at the gym that's not like the um, machines, like if it's like weights or like rolling around on the floor and doing like floor exercises, do let me know because I feel like a dip doing it when I don't know what I'm doing. So if you guys can like tell me what to do that would be awesome my next video will be something with corpo so get excited um i'm very very excited about it so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye